Okay, I'm still here in this area. Okay, the first witness lived in this house. Oh, I'm sorry, because they made a snow cone place out of it. <laughs> no, that's right, him. He came outside and he said, what are you doing back there? The man told him. Uh, with my son, we were finding a place to go pee. He went back inside. He took that damn bullshit story. Fucking asshole. Well, anyway, we ended up going in here. And he kind of peed, but didn't. So, remember I, from the other side of Congress where I was standing? I said, pay attention to the brown duplex. From the front of the store, we walked this way. And he kept saying, I have a boner. I have a boner. Well, of course, I didn't know what the hell that was. We came through here. And we came this way. That's when the man came out. Then we went in there. And I had my damn bike. And nobody saw anything. Bullshit. So anyways, Tucson, Arizona. My home birth town. I'm exposing you for the four fucking witnesses that could have prevented my child molestation and didn't do jack shit. So this is my visual uh, molestation to the four houses that had them. Two women and two men. Son of a bitch does not protect the little child from being harmed. And Tucson, Arizona, you are accountable for having residence in my neighborhood where I should have felt safe and didn't. Fuck you. But you're never gonna chase me out of my hometown of Tucson, Arizona, because you can all suck, kiss, and suck my dick. Okay. Anyway. From this way on, I was coming from this way. He was standing right there where that crack begins. Then, but as I was approaching, I noticed the truck was parked there with a camper shell, and I noticed that it was out of place. And I see this tall man with blonde hair, blonde mustache, blue eyes, white skin, of course, because he was Caucasian. He was wearing a white t-shirt, Levi's, light brown hiking boots. The right boot was untied. So, as I was coming this way, he started going that way, and I heard him asking people, have you seen a little black puppy? I didn't think nothing of it. I was coming to get my mom some cigarettes, and my mom said I could get some candy, so I wasn't gonna turn her down. All I was wearing was trunks, without underwear, no socks, no shoes, no shirt, just trunks, I was gonna go swimming, well not swimming, put my feet in the baby pool. There's a mountain right there. I don't know, you can't see the crater, but they say it was either a volcano developing or a meteor hit it. So anyway, right where that track side about where that shadow starts, him and I, after I left out of the store, he opened the door for me, and we proceeded that way, and we stood in the alley. He said, wait here. We went, looked at the hatchback window with four numbers on it. I will not say the numbers that were back there, but I remember them. And then I, he went. The bus, city bus had stopped. I guess so, where that stop is at. And uh, he told me, you see that woman with the hat? Do you know why she's limping? I said, no. And he said, See that man behind her that's trying to catch up? I was looking for my puppy here. And I heard noises thinking it was my puppy. And that man was fucking her real hard on a mattress. So, by the, these four witnesses, again, he and I gave God a free porn show. That's my issue with God's shoe. Because I was saying, after it happened, I went home sat on the carport i never told anybody so from the ages of 9 to 21 and finally at 21 i was broke broke down crying and my dad said what's the matter i said a man harmed me when i was nine years old and he told me why didn't you ever tell me i would have looked for the son of a bitch and shoot him dead but say from age nine to age 21 i never went to counseling because nobody knew but him and i and god so that's my issue with god that's the reason why I'm not very religious either. I wanted to do the church and everything, but right now this is too much for me and 
I want to get home because uh, I'm trembling too much. All right. Thanks for tagging along, populators and girls. Okay. Wish me luck to get home safe in the right frame of mind. Okay, thank you all for watching. Bye.